Getting started with Infoblox DDI, hello everyone, this is the part 1 video of Core Infoblox DDI configuration and administration. In this video we will see how to deploy NIOS in VMware Workstation and configure it and familiarize with UI. DDI, which stands for DNS, DHCP, and IPM, is the convergence of three critical network services. Infoblox DDI is the world's leading appliance-based, fully integrated DDI product and allows you to consolidate and centralize these network services across multiple branches to provide redundancy and high availability of these services. Key Benefits to Using DDI Offering Centralized management by using the web-based GUI, graphical user interface, users have the ability to administrate almost every aspect of their DNS, DHCP, and IPAM. Maintenance on the hardware and software infrastructure is taken care of for you, so you can focus on what is important. Security and reliability to ensure you meet all of your business goals. Failover and disaster recovery mechanisms are designed into the offering with the use of any cast addressing, redundant administrative appliances, and physically diverse service applications. API access is available to allow for automating routine tasks and or processes. Split View DNS allows the separation of DNS information between internal networks and access from an unsecure, public network, e.g. the Internet. To download the Infoblox DDI evaluation image, the initial step is to visit the Infoblox website and fill in the required details. and fill in the required details. It's essential to input a valid work email address as personal ones like Gmail or AOL will not be accepted. Once you submit the details, you will receive an email containing the download link. On the website, you'll find various image options such as VMware, KVM, and Hyper-V, along with detailed guides. Select the Infoblox DDI evaluation image for VMware Workstation and download it to a drive with sufficient free space. To begin the installation process, double-click on the OVA file and agree to the terms and conditions. Input a name for the virtual machine and select the path where the VMS is to be installed. Choose the Infoblox Appliance Model IB815, and leave everything else as it is on the next window. while waiting for the VM to install. Adjust the VMware Virtual Network Interface to work in bridged mode with the host system's actual network interface.
Upon reaching the login screen, use admin as the username and infoblox in small letters as the password, which is the factory default super user. Next, set up the IP address, and in our case, we are assigning an IP address as shown on the screen. Once the changes are confirmed, the VM will restart. Sign in again, and now we need to install a temporary license for NIOS and DDI, the evaluation license is valid for 60 days. Select option 4 to add a NIOS license and confirm it, then select appliance model IB815. Once confirmed, the VM will restart again. The next step is to install the DDI license. Select option 2 and proceed, then confirm the action, and the UI will restart. Now, we are ready to access the GUI. Go to your browser and type the VM's IP address in the address bar, making sure to prefix HTTPS before IP. The connection will not be private as there is no certificate available. Simply select the advanced option and click continue to the website. Type in the default username and password and click login to access the main window. On the leftmost side of the UI is the Finder panel, where you can see all your quick access items such as smart folders, bookmarks, recycle bin, and URL links. At the top of the UI is the main navigation panel, from where you can navigate to the dashboard, data management, smart folder grid, and administration menus. Below the main navigation panel, you can see the submenus of the main menu.
The middle section of the UI is called the workspace, where you will be provided with all options under each menu. The right side of the workspace is called the toolbars panel, where you can access the options quickly. Finally, the rightmost side of the UI is the help panel, which will show the details of each item you have selected, along with the tips. Thanks for watching, that's all about initial installation and setup for Inflowbox DDI Part 1.